Hey guys, um, we've been talking about just different types of motion recently and we've kind of come to the conclusion that there's either acceleration, which is any change in your speed, and then constant speed. Um, what we have not talked about is what causes constant speed and what causes changes in speed or acceleration. So we're going to do a little demonstration today that you guys are going to use to kind of help you understand um, what situations cause acceleration, what situations cause constant speed. So you're going to be looking at this diagram or this uh, chart that I've made up for you guys and you're going to look at all of these different scenarios right here. For each scenario you're going to determine whether there are forces that are balanced or unbalanced. So we've talked in class a little bit about the fact that forces are a push or a pull on an object and they are what cause motion. So we need to see how forces in combination or absentia will, um, will cause different um, types of motion. So. Um, are the forces balanced or unbalanced? All you have to write is balanced and unbalanced. And if you want to write any kind of weird description after that with the, like two fans opposite directions, two fans same direction, um, or sorry, same direction, it's whatever you wanted to write in there, okay? Um, the next column right here, motion type, are we getting a constant speed or are we getting a, uh, an acceleration of some sort, okay? Now, you should again look at your fixed reference points maybe scroll back in the video just to see whether things are speeding up or slowing down. All right, and then last but not least, notes, conclusions, any kind of other peripheral information. Um, we're gonna discuss these hopefully in class a little bit, but you wanna know like how does extra mass affect the motion of the object? Um, if it's balanced forces, does the mass affect the object? If it's unbalanced forces, does the mass affect the motion of the object? all that kind of stuff. So anything that you see, um, put it out there. We're also going to do something that's on the website FET, which um, you guys will see a little bit more of coming up here, and that should help kind of clarify these things. So um, we're going to get started with the first demonstration. All right, this one's scenario one. Uh, one car, no fans on it and release from rest. Three, two, one. Hope you guys can line it up with this fixed reference point, maybe like it right here, so that you can see what kind of motion it has. All right. Setup two is one cart already in motion because I'm going to be giving it a small push and you're going to observe the motion after it's released from my hand. All right, so I'm actually going to start out this, uh, oh, this side. okay. It bounced back because there's magnets on it. So we'll do that one one more time, okay? So focus on it after it releases from my hand. So again, we're trying to neglect friction here. What do you think is happening neglecting friction? All right, this one is gonna be one cart released from rest with one fan on. We're gonna do three, two, one. <laughs> Gotta make sure that one doesn't go off the other end. All right, we're going to try it one more time, so observe. All right. This particular one is going to be pushing this cart in that direction, and the fan is going to be blowing it towards this direction. Um, so predict what kind of motion you think it's going to be. Do you think it's going to be constant speed or acceleration? Okay. Three, two, one. That was pretty fun. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, 
right, this one is going to be two fans on. The carts are attached right now, and we're going to not give them a push. We're just going to release them from a resting position. So I'll take my hand, hold it here, and then let it go. I think I gave it a tiny little push there at the beginning, so pay attention to more what it's doing now. One of those fans might be slightly more strong than the other one, although I just changed the batteries. So, um, again, neglecting friction, what do you think was supposed to happen? And also neglecting the fact that this track might not be completely level. So. This next one is going to be the two fans are on, blowing in opposite directions. And I'm going to give it a little push. So what is going to happen after I give it that little push? Three, two, one. I think that one was pretty clear what it does, especially at the end after you would expect it to slow down. Hint, hint, eh. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. You guys might not be able to tell in the video, but when it hits that other end, it kind of shakes everything, which causes some weird stuff to happen, which is why it slows down on the way back. But on the way there, I would say it's not slowing down at all. All right, this time we're gonna do a comparison. We're gonna turn this fan around. We're gonna have just one fan on and then we're gonna do the same thing with two fans on. So, observe. That was it with one fan, now let's do two. may want to play that back and just observe again to see which one um, is maybe a little bit faster than the other one. Start thinking about why you think that is. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Again, I had the second fan on in that second trial. So um, the point of this, just so everybody's clear, we wanted again to look at, do we have balance forces or unbalanced forces in these different cases? Um, the fans being the forces. So if there was no fan, there's no force. The second thing we were looking at is when we have balance forces, what kind of motion do we get? When we have unbalanced forces, what kind of motion do we get? So. Um, a couple quick things. A lot of times when students have these two facing opposite directions, they think, oh, maybe it's going to go back and forth and then stop. And one you actually find out is it just kind of stops. Okay. One of the other ones that people have a little bit of trouble on is when the two fans are on and I give it a push like that, they think that, oh, this thing's going to slow to a stop when it actually just continues going at a constant velocity. Again, we'll show that one real quick. Again, that's because it has balanced forces. Balanced forces produce constant velocity or constant speed. Unbalanced forces like this, where there's only one, 
that produces an acceleration.